Hey guys, here we are in DCS Black Shark, and today I'm going to teach you about the countermeasures in the KA-50. Now, uh, in the Black Shark, we've got two things that are going to keep you alive. we got the laser warning receiver up here in the top left, and our annoying little UV-26 flare dispenser up here in the top right. And in order to turn both these things on, you go back here to the back panel, and you got this switch here, laser warning receiver, or laser warning system, LWS. Um, just turn it on and you'll know it's powered on when you got this big, awesome neon light lighting up. And then for the UV-26, just flip open this cover and you got this switch up in here and it's pretty much just going to turn on just fine, real fast. Alright, now before I get to these systems, I'm going to show you this little bit down here in the Abris. Um, this big bubble, you see? This is the uh, detection range of the AA unit. Not always going to have this because you're not always going to know exactly where the thing is, but um, sometimes you will. The AA unit is going to be uh, in the center and there's going to be a little bubble. I put some nav points up there and uh, that's just in the way, but you got the AA unit in the center and the ABRIS is going to take into account elevation. So, like you see up here in the top left, this big uh, concave here. If you were chilling out inside of that concave, then um, you would not be seen by the AA unit because you got this big ass mountain in the way. And on the Cheval, I've locked up that AA unit it's five and a half kilometers out there. It is a Sam Revenger, which is basically a Humvee with a bunch of stingers strapped onto it. Um, it's still pretty fierce, but all right. So, laser warning receiver. Alright, so just imagine that your COW-50 is sandwiched right between uh, these two blocky, bu blocky lights. If you got laser energy coming from in front of you, then this red light up here is going to light up. If it's behind you, this one down here, to the right, and to the left. Now, um, these two lights here indicate like elevation. So if the laser energy is from below you, then this light down here will light up. Uh, if it's above you, will light up here. Now, when I'm talking laser energy, I'm not talking like Death Star, blow you up laser. I'm talking like the infrared laser that, you know, tanks or APCs or whatever, you know, modern battlefield equipment um, have that, like, they're going to use to track you, to show you off to the, all their good tank buddies and uh, get ranging on you so they can kill you. Then these lights down here, uh, the top one means that uh, the laser energy is close enough that uh, it's going to start shooting you. And then the bottom one down here, you're not going to see this light up too often, but uh, this is supposed to indicate when uh, laser energy is being modified in a way that it's going to, uh, that it's actually already fired a rocket and it's guiding that rocket onto your face. Now, uh, UV-26, I hate this guy. He's annoying and he's vague and he's just, I hate him. Alright, so this thing up here um, right now well right now it's selected only the left side so you got this switch up here this indicates you know which side you're going to be on you also got these uh, big red lights up here on the sides and so right now only flares are going to come out of the left side now only flares um, from the right side will come out and both at the same time and this number here when you're moving this thing around is going to indicate how many flares you have so I have 64 on the right uh, 128 total, 64 on the left. And then this thing, this will throw out either a set number of flares when it's to the left, or um, no, 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 no. What this does is it'll show you uh, when it's to the left, it'll tell you how many flares there are, and then when it's to the right, um, it'll tell you you know how many flares you've already told it to uh, pump out. And then we got the blue buttons here that I hate. Alright, so the one on the top left, this is the number of sequences that it's going to shoot flares out. So it'll be like do-do-do-do, do-do-do-do, and, and it's going to tell you, you know, how many do-do-do-do's to do. You got that? Alright. Then bottom left, uh, we got the number of do's in each do-do-do-do. And the top that's number of flares per sequence, by the way. Then the top right, this is going to be the interval between do 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 do's. I got that? Alright. And 
and then in order to increase the number of sequences you just mash this button up here number of players per sequence mash this and the interval mash uh, but it, it's not a perfect world seven forbid like um, if you increase the number of sequences up to five it's not going to have five sequences it's actually going to have twelve and you can actually read that uh, up here on the button five and the parentheses twelve then uh, same dealio with seven only it's going to be fifteen um, number of flares per sequence that's fine it's linear it's nice then intervals um, this is in seconds by the way uh, and when you get up to seven um, also indicated on this button here it's actually going to be a point two five and then uh, when it's at nine it's going to be point five um, seconds but yeah don't just don't get all finicky and shit with that. I mean, just smash buttons, be like, yeah, alright, you'll be fine. Just don't worry about it, man. Then, uh, the button down here, this is reset back to 110. And, yeah, you get the idea. Then stop and start, uh, I think that's pretty self explanatory. So, right now, I'm just going to fly right towards this. Um, AA units and we're gonna have a lot of fun, don't worry. I'll show you how the how everything works. Auto hover off, get our navigation hood up on here, and fly time. Now the Avenger isn't the only thing I got up in there. I got some tanks, I got some home bees, and uh th they're gonna be shooting at me too. We also got these uh, signal flares down here in the bottom right. You gotta flip this switch to turn them on. Then you can pump out these suckers like it's hot. Check it out. Put on a pretty nice light show. Alright, so we're about um, two and a half kilometers from the target zone. It's gonna start shooting at me soon. Warning. Under There's Ekron yelling at us, and we're going to start putting up some flares. Uh, it's in front of me, Warning. it's about the same Under altitude, attack. and it's bad and shit. Alright. So, uh, it didn't work out too well, I think it had like um, too much of a delay, but as you can see, it's definitely um, not hitting me entirely. Uh, that big white line, that is the trail of the stinger. Um, now you might have noticed that you didn't see this bottom light light up. That's because Stinger is a uh, a heat guided missile. Um, it's not actually being, uh, it's not using laser energy to guide the missile onto you. It's self guiding by heat, so you're not ever really going to see this light up very often. Actually, uh, it's quite rare I found. Um, so you really got to start pumping up flares when this uh, top one comes on. Don't don't wait till the next one. And uh, this same altitude stuff that that's kind of crap too um it, it doesn't work entirely too well not as well as i would like but uh you know you get the idea um all right i'm just keep flying now uh that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching i hope you learned a lot and uh, you'll be able to apply it to uh when you fly Oh, another thing you can do, uh, if you press F6, you can see stingers um, and other missiles in flight. It's pretty sweet. Do it like the launch it straight up. Uh, see? It's uh, looking towards my one of my flares and not towards me. Uh, that's, a, that's a good sign. It also likes to overshoot uh, when it aims at flares. Oh, and you also gotta reset this stuff all the time uh, if you want accurate Under attack. Uh, symbology. Warning. I'm just gonna let it kill Under me attack. right now. Watch a there we go. Look at that. Engine fire. Left engine fire.